Hey guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winter. Thanks for joining me for another Wedding Wednesdays. Uh, today's gonna be a little bit shorter than most of my weeks because I don't have too, too much to say, but I have a couple of things to talk about. So, the first thing is, if you saw my last video, you saw that I bought a bunch of stuff on Etsy, um, and a few things came in and some hadn't yet. I am still waiting on my cake toppers, but the seller sent us a photo of what it looks like with our custom colors, and I'm so excited to get them. So they should be shipping out soon, and they're coming from the Netherlands, so it's gonna take a while, but it'll totally be worth it. And then I also had the guest book come in, and it is lovely. So here's the guest book. Um, and it's like a gold foil, it's actually raised, it's really nice, it has her date on it. Um, it also has it on the side of the book as well. Um, and you know, just plain blank pages. Um, it has a little ribbon to put through so you know, you can hold the place for like where the next person has to write. Um, it's really, really nice, it came out beautifully and I'm really, really glad that we got it. Um, and I'm really excited about it. And then, something that I didn't show you guys last time, but I said we sent out our save the dates, and I wanted to show you what they actually looked like. So, obviously we used our engagement photos for the save the date, that was a big reason why we did engagement photos. Um, we ordered them through minted.com. We thought about DIY, we thought about specially designed ones, we just found that it was easier to do it this way. We actually really liked their designs. I also had a great discount, so it totally worked out. I'm not against DIYing your own invitations or save the dates, but like for me, it was, you know, time equals money basically, so I didn't want to put that much time into that. I'd rather DIY other things like the picture frames I showed you guys last week. I kind of just let the save the dates and the invitations stick with the professionals. Um, anyway, so this is what they ended up looking like. Um, again, you can see we're going for that Art Deco kind of feel. Um, and then we just had our photo on the side here. And then we also utilized the back. So we had another photo from the shoot there. And then the back also has information for our website and all of that. So people can already start looking at our wedding website ahead of time, which already has our registry. It has our hotel blocks. It has everything. So the early planners can get that done if they want to, and then the other people don't really have to worry about it. We're gonna send out the URL again on invitations, so yeah. So that's kind of where we are. I just ordered some jewelry that I can't wait to come in, also from Etsy. I feel like this wedding's gonna be very Etsy. Um, so when that comes in, I'll definitely show you guys. Um, and then before we finish up this video, I do wanna talk about one really quick topic that came up when I was talking to Peter um, you know, I got home from Florida a few days ago, and he said to me, um, you know, my mom was in this really awkward situation where she um, was with one of her tennis partners that she plays with all the time, and that person made like an assumptive comment that they were being invited to the wedding, and they're not, um, because We've never met them before, and they're his parents' friends, but they're not someone who's close to us and meaningful to us in our relationship. She was like, oh, I just feel so awkward, you know, I didn't know what to say, and I, and I feel bad, I feel guilty. And my response to that is, you can't feel guilty for someone else assuming that they were invited. That's on them. Like, you know, I understand that it sucks that you can't invite everybody you know, but... I don't know, I don't think a person should feel guilty because someone made a, a, an assumption and decides to say something that maybe they sh just shouldn't have. Um, but I, I think this goes for anybody. Don't feel bad if a coworker or an acquaintance kind of makes that comment like, oh, I can't wait to see the invitations, I can't wait to get my save the date, because that's not on you. As long as you didn't say something that led them to believe that they were going to be invited and then they weren't, that's not your problem. That person made that assumption that they were gonna be invited and you shouldn't feel guilty for it. Um, I mean, I know those scenarios are really awkward. I don't think just outright saying, hey, you're not invited is the best way to handle it, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna lie and say that they are or anything like that either because then you might feel like you have to then add them to the guest list or whatever. 
I think the best way to handle it is honestly like um, either change the topic or you can even just say like, oh, you know, well, we're still finalizing our guest list and our venue isn't that big, but you know, we're we'll, we're trying to figure out everyone who can have come and then kind of move on to something else, you know? That way it's not saying, no, you're not invited, but it's also kind of saying like, we don't know yet and we don't have a lot of space, so like, I'm kind of hinting 50-50 that you might not be coming, even though we already did have our guest list and our save the dates already went out. but. A little white lie sometimes can help in those situations. Um, but yeah, don't ever feel guilty if someone assumes they're invited to your wedding or your son or daughter's wedding or whatever. Um, again, that's just on them, so don't worry about it. Anyway, that's it for today. Short Wedding Wednesday. I'm sure I'll have a lot more for you guys next week. I just didn't have so much this week because I was gone for five days at Disney and spent that weekend not planning anything. So it was kind of nice to take that psychological mental break from planning. But now I'm back in the throes of it, trying to figure out bridesmaid dresses, trying to figure out groomsmen suits. So there will be lots more to come in the future. Thanks for watching another video. I would love to hear in the comments below if you've ever had any awkward situations where someone thought they were invited to a wedding or maybe you thought you were invited to a wedding that you weren't. I mean, it happens, right? Like, it definitely happens on the flip side. So I would love to hear um, how that situation was handled in the comments below. And if you like this video, then like it. If you wanna see more content like this, then please subscribe. I put out Wedding Wednesday videos, you guessed it, every Wednesday. Um, so join me for more in the future. Thanks guys, bye.